Hi, I'm Richard Carlton. Welcome to the Coach's Corner. Hi, everyone. Welcome to this installment of the Coach's Corner. Today, we're talking about charting and doing really cool charting in the FileMaker platform. Helping me today is Calvin Moseyman. Hey, great to be helping here. Calvin is one of our senior engineers and was with us recently at the FileMaker Developers Conference. And this topic did come up, and the topic was about creating some pretty intricate charting in FileMaker. Now, FileMaker has a very basic suite of charts built in. They are fairly limited in what their abilities are. Certainly, there's no ability to generate charts with country information or gauges, that kind of thing. Some very cool technology that we can get access to by using a third-party add-on into the FileMaker platform. So normally what people do is they say, well, if you need charting, use Google Charts. In fact, we've shot videos where we talk about using Google Charts. However, Google Charts really has kind of three weaknesses to it. The charts work pretty well and they're fairly reliable, but there are limited numbers of charts. So while the charts that Google has is more than what FileMaker has, still once again, there is a limited number of pre-cant charts that you can use. Now, an additional issue is that if you want to create a customized chart, really you can't call Google and get assistance in doing that. And so there's a real limit in terms of tech support and what you can get from Google. And of course, the third issue that does come up is that while everyone likes to say that Google Charts is free, um, it's really only free if you're building a free website or you have a very limited use case for it. But if you want to include Google Charts in a custom FileMaker application that you resell, that could be a real serious financial problem for you because some people have run into legal licensing issues with Google to the tune of about $10,000 a year in licensing just to get the Google Charts legally added to their application. So using Google Charts kind of internally in an application in your company and you fill out the information with Google and maybe they don't particularly care about it and of course you don't get charged for that but as soon as you start making serious use of Google Charts you're going to need to check the user license agreement or the EULA the end user license agreement what they allow and what they don't allow and what's interesting is that if you cross a threshold of how you're deploying the chart it goes from basically zero dollars or free to being about ten thousand dollars a year and so Fusion Charts is a competing technology by a company that I've actually done webinars for and I've actually presented at DevCon over 10 years ago. Fusion Charts has come a long way. Initially, they used a Flash-based technology. Of course, Flash is kind of dead for the most part. And so anyone who's doing innovative new development is using JavaScript or other technology, not Flash. And so Fusion Charts updated all their technology, got it working on the latest JavaScript, and frankly, their library of charts is awesome. If you take a look, for example, at Google, as a simple example, if you want some gauges to show you how uh, your performance metrics are doing within a custom application in FileMaker, well, we have a video where we talk about this. And you can see right here on screen, this is the chart that we used previously to uh, show how we're doing in terms of uh, sales for the day or for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that kind of thing. But that's really the only gauge chart you have and there's really limits to what you can do in terms of customizing it. If we go over to Fusion Charts, you can see here that they have a chart style here. And then there's another chart style, another gauge that you can use. Maybe this one uh, fits your needs better. Of course, it says miles per hour and it's gray, light gray and dark gray in a certain section, but those are all super customizable. And of course, there's more charts with different looks and different feels, right? And so while Google Charts seems to have like one gauge that kind of works, Fusion Charts gives you a lot more capabilities. So let's fast forward here to Calvin's involvement. Calvin was asked by a customer, hey, I want to be able to highlight certain geographical regions, right? Calvin, tell us about that conversation with the customer. We were talking about adding a map to FileMaker and a record in FileMaker had countries and regions added, those countries would be highlighted on the world map. And so this is what we came up with. And in this example, we're just saying yes or no, whether they, they're highlighted. And these are records in FileMaker. As we check them off, those countries and regions are highlighted 
on the map. When you close the popover, uh, it refreshes, and you'll see now we have uh, United States, Canada, Greenland highlighted. If you want to remove them, you can just select the X x below from canada and uh and it will be removed now to be clear you picked red but you could do any color you want and you could highly customize this map as well so you can pick any color that you want uh this was just a, a default color red really stands out to see where the record is affecting now additionally i asked calvin to create a sample record for a governmental region so we have the states or provinces in North America or in the United States and we're selecting California here once again within California are sub government regions for those of you who are international they call these counties or parishes or you could call it a province or wherever whatever the terminology that fits your needs but it's a smaller geographical region but you can highlight different areas so if you had a sales opportunity or a service team that was working in a certain area you you could color code certain sections to be one color even actually have the numbers displaying out here you can actually have them displayed in a key on the side there's all sorts of tremendously cool things you can do with fusion charts and wiring it up is not that difficult with fusion charts you just download all of the javascript files that you want to use and they have a, a big library of the exact maps that you can use or other charts and you just copy that text into uh, fields in FileMaker and with some customization to some calculation fields it can be displayed through a web viewer. So this is some behind the scenes here so walk us through this briefly Calvin what you've set up here in this file because we're gonna let people play with this file so. So the fields on the left are placeholders for the JavaScript and we paste in the text straight from the Fusion chart downloads. The center field puts the placeholders together in an HTML format. So you'll see some of these uh, correspond with the fields on the left. So there's a, a placeholder fusioncharts.js in the center, maybe eighth line down. Uh, and so right there, we're inserting the theme from the field. And then on the far right is the calculation field that puts all of this together in a HTML format that the web viewer can read. So previously, I built a chart using Google Charts, and it's very similar to that process. There's a lot more flexibility with Fusion Charts, and I think the licensing is a little bit better because there are different options to get into the product. Obviously, as you can tell right here, if you look at the charts, there will be, there's a little tag at the bottom that says this is a trial. So if you download Fusion Charts and use it and you want to play with it, it will say it's a trial. Obviously, that's there to remind you that you don't have really uh, a license to distribute it, but we're making a demo file here, so feel free to play with this, download it. But if you're going to deploy it in any sort of serious manner, definitely look at the Fusion Chart website. Take a look at their licensing options, um, which includes, you know, kind of internal in-house, uh, a SaaS if you're building a software as a service where you're hosting a solution and your customers access it, or if you're creating an on-premise application like a FileMaker app that they download to their office then you're going to want to get a custom quote from uh, Fusion Charts and obviously compare that against what Google's going to charge for licensing. I would imagine Fusion Charts would be somewhat cheaper than that. However, from my perspective, you can get customized support. If you want charts to, to be highly customized, the Fusion Chart folks will help you with that. So as you can see, Fusion Charts provides a tremendous amount of flexibility. I'm personally excited by this. It's very visually gooey. It builds a very professional solution. Frankly, I'm excited by it. I love using Fusion Charts. So if you have any questions about this, feel free to reach out to Calvin at our team here, calvin.moseyman at RC Consulting. Or if you want to get help from one of our FileMaker coaches and learn how to build some of this on your own, feel free to email us at support at rcconsulting.com.